Hello, my name is Bob Evans and today I'm going to talk about timber crib lock retaining walls. Timber crib lock retaining walls can look very attractive. They are more economical than concrete crib locks, but have a shorter lifespan. Timber crib lock walls are simple to build with training or can be built using a specialist contractor. Timber crib lock retaining walls are ideal for high retaining structures over three meters. They are used in housing projects mainly. A timber crib lock retaining wall is built using timber and stone. The timber is made into cribs or frames, 1.2 meters wide by 0 0.6, 0 0.9, 1.2 and 1.5 meters deep. Each crib is approximately 200 millimeters high. The design principle is gravity and the design is similar to a gabion basket retaining wall. Timber crib lock walls have a short lifespan. Although the timber is treated and is said to have a lifespan of 60 years, we have seen failure within 15 years. When they fail, they are difficult to repair. Timber crib lock is far more economical than concrete crib lock, but comes with a risk. The timber units to make the cribs are called stretchers and headers. Stretchers run from the length of the wall, headers run from the front to the back of the wall. The stretchers and headers lock into each other using notches built into the headers. Stretchers are 2.4 meters long, whereas headers are 0 0.6, 0 0.9 and 1.2 meters long. The width of the header depends on the design of the retaining wall. Free draining fill is required to backfill behind the crib lock structure with a land drain at the bottom to reduce any risk from hydrostatic pressure. The higher the wall, the wider the frames need to be at the bottom of the wall. Crib lock walls are typically inclined to allow gravity to reduce the wall's mass and keep the design economical. The design table was developed to allow us to price up budgets. You can see how the wall changes with different heights. Please only use the guide for reference. Every retaining wall is built in different soil types and must be designed by a structural engineer. We can do this work for you on request. Okay, end. Pain in the arse, that one. The question everybody wants to know is how much does a retaining wall cost? To answer this question, we have created a retaining wall design and price guide. The guide details all the retaining walls on the website, provides a design guide to allow you to cost out the wall yourself, or you can use our cost table that we have developed. You can use the table to calculate a budget for your project. You can also compare the cost of different wall types. We have a three-step process to support you with your retaining wall project. Step one, help you select the right solution for your requirements and budget. Step two, design a solution for your site and soil requirements. Step three, prepare material schedules to obtain competitive prices using our supply chain. The next step is to ask us questions and tell us about your project. We can then support you to deliver it and probably save you some money. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.